What's good YouTube? It's your boy Meso Caleb and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I will be doing 10 things that I cannot live without. Without further ado, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 4.1k subscribers. I'm extremely grateful. I can't thank you guys enough. You know, I'm grateful for every milestone that we accomplished together on this journey and I can't wait to see what more this journey has to offer. So, let's get straight into it. I have 10 things that I cherish the most that I felt was essential to my life, necessary to my life in some form or fashion. Some of them y'all might seem, y'all might think that they're not, you know, that essential. But for me personally, I honestly feel that these items are, they have, they hold some kind of significance to what I represent. So with that being said, make sure you guys like, comment and if you're new to the channel subscribe down below and let's get it get it go let's roll that intro I love you, on the list there's no specific order for these items but I just want to go straight down what I felt was like the most essential what I care about the most what I feel is the most essential to my life so first off we're gonna start off with camera and laptop without you guys and without the items that I've worked so hard for the amount of videos and the content that I produce would not be here without these two items. I love my camera because I actually, this is my first camera. I worked super hard for it for the first year and a half on YouTube. I didn't have a camera. I recorded on an iPhone 6, 7, 8, 10, and now I have a camera. So, you know, that, that automatically just feels great. As far as the computer and the software that I have for that, worked extremely hard for that as well. You know, started off iMovie. Then I eventually like, you know, moved to Adobe Premiere Pro. With that, you know, I, I plan to excel further with this software, you know, everything here. I will get a new laptop, but for now, this is my baby. This is a 2013 MacBook Air, and it's, it's perfect, you know? This combo is great, you know? It, it, it's, it holds and it sets the tone for my YouTube videos, always what I've wanted to do, so, having you guys here see me on hd quality with a great camera and then i can edit for great content with this you know that's that's amazing so for the first item camera and laptop that's one of the most essential especially for youtube so for that that's a dub let's go for the second item on this list is nothing other than water i love 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 water if you are in my house and you are thirsty, just know I got that five. So, gotta have that water. Every time I'm editing, or I'm sitting down watching a movie, I'm eating some food, some snacks, some whatever, gotta have that water on me, man. Playing games, you know, I love Call of Duty, I'll send you guys to the Gulag. So, if you want some smoke, and you get thirsty, gotta have that water, you know what I'm saying? Gotta have that, mm. Gets you through the day. Keeps you energized, keeps you, you know, positive keeps your, your day moving. Water, item two, cannot live without it, so nothing other than H2O. For the third item on my list, it's nothing other than Oreos. I love Oreos. I cannot live without these. This is my ultimate favorite snack, favorite cookie over any other snack there is on this planet. Oreos are my favorite, so if you wanna know something about me, gotta have that Oreos, man. Oreos and milk, Oreos and, you know, well, that's another milk, but, you know, Oreos and milk is just the best combo. I do drink milk here and there, but like, you know, that's for cereal and this. But, you know, gotta have Oreos. I actually started eating them, so. I hate old Oreos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Off camera, you know, man, that's how much I love them. You know what I'm I brought a band new pack, I had to eat half of them, so. <laughs> for item number four, I have to say, it's gonna have to be my PS4. I didn't feel like bringing out the PS4, but yeah, let's roll that montage because I know y'all want to see it. I feel like the PS4 is probably one of my favorite things 
that I know I can't live without. Gotta have a game system nearby. Gaming channel may come soon. I don't know yet. I can't speak on it just too yet. But I can say for the most part, I got to have a PS4 or some kind of gaming system nearby. Because when I'm not recording, and I'm not asleep, and I ain't on the toilet, I gotta be playing the game, and it's only right. Without the game, I will be very, very miserable. So if you agree with PS4, comment down below PS4 or Xbox One. I, I kind of, you know, you already know I kind of agree with PS, PS4, but you know, comment down below, I've owned both. But yeah, PS4, you gotta go, gotta have it. I put my gamer tag, my PSN, down below in the link in the description. If y'all guys wanna play with me, y'all wanna run some squads, Gula, Fortnite, uh, I don't play Apex, but any other games you message me, hit me up in DMs, Instagram, whatever, I will respond. We can run PS4 only. Let's get it. At home essentials has to be number five. You already know what it is, so go ahead and roll that montage, and then I'm gonna go ahead and into detail. probably the most imminent in your life and the reason why I say imminent is because you can't go nowhere without no deodorant I use Dove I think it's a women's I don't know if it's women's or what but I use Dove because it works the best for me it smells fresh and you know it goes in with my lotion and everything else that I use for body spray I use Old Spice and you gotta stay fresh with that I also use Carmex nothing other than that because Carmex is probably one of the best chapsticks ever, so no advertisement, but I'm just saying. For my face, I've been working on my face. Let me go ahead and get close to you so you can see. You know what I'm saying? My skin was really damaged. It used to be really, really bad. And I'm healing my skin with Palmer's Skin Success. Now, with this skin, this skin cream, it's actually just an anti-dark spot cream, so you just put it on your face after you wash it. Help the dark spots fade out and it'll make me look very beautiful again at number six i would have to say honestly even though i don't need it and i can live without it i would have to say it's going to be my iphone why I say it's my iPhone is because this is what I use to promote on social media and this is what I use to interact with you guys and if I if you guys have a question you need to know how to do something you want to hit me up and you have you know you want a shout out or anything that you guys want or need I'm there and I'm actually firsthand responding you know to everything that you guys need so that's also really cool that I love about that it's um just a way for me to like personally interact with y'all, you know, especially since it's cold global pandemic right now. So I can't really interact with you guys. So that is probably one of the best things that I love is the fact that I can interact with, interact with direct subscribers right here from my phone. You know, if it's Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, you know, or YouTube itself in the comment sections, that is like one of the best things for me. So I would have to say my phone only because I love interacting with you guys and it helps me feel more comfortable and it helps me feel a connection with y'all because I wanna build something with y'all from the bottom up. So it starts here. If you guys keep interacting, I'm always gonna be here. I'm never gonna act bougie, always gonna be the same. So don't think that I'm gonna be fake. It's mezzo mezzo all the way. And let's go to item number seven. Honestly, I'm really excited for item number seven because you have to have the drip. If you ain't got the drip, I can't mess with you Perfect. because that is probably one of the most essential to my life. The drip. Let's roll that clip. Hey, that was it, I take it. The men's gonna be niggas, I'm bigger. And that little bitch is too bitter. I still fuck around and I hit her. Definitely when I kiss her. And after she leaves, I'm gonna miss her. And I'm gonna roll how you pick her. Alright, so look, the shoes that I picked out are probably just my top five of my collection. We're gonna start off with the 2016 release, uh, Space Jam Jordan 11. This is one of my favorite shoes, and the the kind of like the personal backstory behind this pair of sneaker is that my oldest brother, who is across the world right now, he's in the military, he actually gave me this pair of shoes, and this was like, I, I don't know if it was one of my first pair of Jordans, 
but he gave me these and I, you know, this is when I was still in high school and I've kept them since then, since I was in fucking 10th grade. So that, I probably have like one of the biggest connections with these. They're, they're a little beat up, as you can see, like if you just look, they're like, you know, they're worn, but I kept good care of them. To say that I had these shoes for over three years, two years, you know, for longer than that, um, is really cool. So I really respect him for that. He, you know, he gave me shit, a lot of pair of shoes. He gave me probably like five, six, seven pair of shoes. Like I got some all black camel Tims, some custom Tims. Um, I got cement threes, even though that's not in my top five, I really love those shoes. He gave me some, um, there were some olive green eights. I think they're called alternate eights. They were like a little lime green with the orange tongue. Um, he gave me a pair of Air Force Ones, but I couldn't fit them, so I ended up selling them. <laughs> but yeah, so that is probably just one of the most meaningful things that he's done. I really respect him for that. Ever love you, bro. But yeah, I'll we'll go with the Bloodline Ones only because this shoe, I love these colors. This color scheme is my three favorite colors to go in clothing. White, black, and red because they match with every fit. Like you can just see the contrast of the shoe. You know, I've worn them a little bit, but it's cool. I take care of all my sneakers. I love the Bloodlines. This has direct meaning because my brother got them for me for my birthday. This was my 19th birthday last year in November. So my brother got me these. I actually really love this shoe. I didn't know he was gonna get them for me. He just, you know, handed me a box on three in the morning and he was like, happy birthday. And I was like, oh snap, okay. I, I fucked with it. So yeah. Now this shoe right here, I actually purchased these with my own hard earned money. So I actually felt really good about purchasing the shoe, which is the Black Ferrari 14, the Jordan Black Ferraris. This is a really dope shoe. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But I just love how it's like kind of like a little suede kind of like finish right here. I don't know what this material is. It's not suede, but it's like really, really soft, really, really smooth. Then they got the like the internal fucking like the, it's like fabric. Like I don't know. I, like if you actually have been in a Ferrari, I feel like this is what like the Ferrari seats would feel like in a way. So like it has like a little Ferrari seat interior with the red bottom. And then like, you know, it's accented. So I love this. This is a great finish on the shoe. Great rare shoe. It's my first pair of 14s that I've ever owned, ever in my life. Coming in at number four, gotta have some G Fezos, man. Coming in at G Fezos, had to get them. You get, they're so icy, they're brand new. I wore them one time. You can't even see them with this ring light. Like you can't even get it to focus. Look, can't even get it to focus. That's how icy they are. But yeah, we got a pair of G Fezos, man. Can't even, let me see if I can get it to focus. Can't even get it to focus. <laughs> but yeah, so a pair of G Fezos, have to get some Air Force Ones. You know, this is gonna be my daily shoe, not even a lot. Even though they're all white, you can wear Air Forces with anything. I had to get me a pair of Air Forces because before, my bro like I said, my brother got me a pair of Air Forces, I could not fit them. So this is very, very essential to the drip. You gotta have some drip, gotta have some shoes. You know, I got hella clothes in the bag. I didn't feel like bringing them out, but these are just some essential pieces that I love and I cannot live without them. Last but not least, we got the last 29, I think this is a 2020 release or the 20, no, this is the 2019 release, Red 11. I got these um, like around Christmas time. Um, I actually got them, I won them in a raffle. The crazy thing about this shoe is that I remember that, like I forgot that they were releasing like this year or this past year. So like I woke up to, like the day before they released and I Googled it and I was like, when they drop, oh shit, they drop tomorrow, okay. Well, let me go ahead and cop them. So I go to the store, I walk up to the store and I'm just like, hey yo, let me enter this raffle, you know, I'm trying to get the shoes. They was like, oh, we got one pair left. One pair left, mind you, they have like, hundred people in the store, hundred people trying to get these shoes. I'm the last person that enters this raffle and I won it. Never won these dead stock pair of bread 11s. One of my favorite Jordans next to the Space Jams. These are probably my two most valuable shoes. Space Jams, bread 11s, you cannot go wrong with these two shoes in your collection. I will be collecting more, but these are just the beginning of something great. So coming in number seven, I think this is number seven. Uh, gotta have a drip. Let's go to number eight. Coming in at number eight is going to have to be my family. I'm going to have to say my family. Let me go ahead and drop a picture right here on screen. I have to say it's going to be my family, family, <laughs> family, because they give me the most criticism and the most support that any person has ever given me. They're the toughest and the most supportive at the exact same time. And I feel like at, for success, you need that. You need someone that's hard on you, pushing you, telling you what's right, telling you what's wrong, and they agree, disagree, because it's for the better. It's for the best. 
you work together in your strength and numbers. My family has always been there for me and since the beginning, you know, since I did pranks in the house where I'm sitting here and, you know, I had the camera set up, set up like right here. This is like my hair was really short. You can probably go look at it. It's like my second video on the channel. So yeah, my family, they're most important in my life. I love my family more than anything. And I can't wait till the journey extends past where I can do things for them. So yeah, I'll have to say family is one of the greatest things that anyone could ever ask for, honestly. So I would just have to say them. But yeah, let's go ahead and roll the next one. Guys, I've seen plenty of videos of me and Misha. Misha, if some, for some of you guys who don't know, is my girlfriend. I love her so dearly. And we've only been together for eight months. We make nine months on the 10th of the next month. All I have to say is she is probably next to my family. The reason why I put them so like back to back is because it feels like when I speak to her, we've known each other for years. We are literally the exact same person. We get along and we come up with great ideas, especially for you guys. And it's nothing other than just like pure like happiness, greatness, and it's like we feed off of each other and it's a complete vibe. So for her coming in that ninth spot, I'll have to say is my girlfriend Misha. She supported me so much on YouTube. I actually took like a four or five month break on YouTube, which is horrible. Shouldn't have done it. I really regret it. But I actually don't at the same time because I met her. And then she kind of like said, hey, you know, you have a channel, this many subs, you know, you have potential and I love your personality. You can be great at this. Just push yourself. And I was like, you know, you might be right. You know what I'm saying? You might be up to something. So I took her advice and I went ahead and I did exactly what she said. You know, I pushed myself and look where we are now. I went from 800 subscribers starting back from the grind to 4,000 in five months. That is crazy for me. I feel very, very happy, especially because she pushed me. I've done some of the hard work, but she does so much behind the scenes that helps me. She does tremendous work. I really cannot say thank you enough. I'm extremely grateful for you to be an addition to my family and a support of this channel. Last but not least, let me get something for y'all. This is probably one of the coolest things that I got. Actually, Misha got it for me for Christmas. So, coming in at the 10th spot, let me go ahead. I'm gonna just turn this light off so y'all can see it. Let me just turn the light off. Is you guys. Coming in in that 10th spot has to be you guys strictly for one reason and one reason only. You are the reason why I wake up and keep going every single day. Every day I check my subs and I see a new person that has joined the journey, join the family, join the mezzo crew, and we are excelling and at a very fast rate. And we're gaining numbers, excelling, getting stronger. I love, love, love entertaining you guys. I love getting your reactions, comments, and any kind of energy that you guys reciprocate in my favor. I love that and I can't say thank you enough. I really respect you guys so much, as much as you guys respect me, and I can't wait to bring you guys so much more for this channel. Thank you so much for 4.1k subs, and I can't wait to see maybe in a year from now where I'm sitting. Wait, 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 wait. Although this video is a 10 things I cannot live without, I had to add one more. You know we're in quarantine because you're watching this video. We are in a global pandemic right now. So, I had to add nothing other than my mask had to add my mask because without this mask I probably would have had the coronavirus so I really 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 had to put the mask in the 11th spot because you know we're in a global pandemic I'm gonna look back on this video and be like I remember when I had the mask no, mm, mm. without the mask there would be no mezzo so gotta have it make sure you guys like comment and if you enjoyed this video subscribe down below and tell me what was your favorite item on this list. Comment down below the timestamp and your favorite moment of this video of which item you agree with most. If it was the drip, the essentials, the Oreos, the water. If something you don't like, you like a certain type of water, tell me which water you didn't like and you did like. Tell me your favorite pair of shoes, favorite pair of drip. Out of my top five, what's your favorite pair? Tell me if you like PS4 or Xbox One. Tell me what type of 
toothpaste you use, what type of deodorant you use, what type of body wash you use, what type, nah, that's kind of weird. But anyway, tell me what you did like in this video and we'll make it happen in the comment section. We'll go run it up. And I can't wait to let you guys see that what I have in store for you for these next few videos. Without further ado, it's your boy Mizzo Caleb. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'm out.